we're going to extract the messaging function using socket.io. Welcome to the video, what is socket.io? This is part of building microservices from scratch course. In this video, we're going to talk about what socket.io is. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, what socket.io is, and you can find all this information at socket.io right here. And we're in the doc section. So this is the documentation. What is socket.io? Socket.io is a library that enables real-time, bi-directional, and event-based communication between the browser and the server. It consists of a Node.js server source, an API, and a JavaScript client library for the browser, which can also be run from Node.js. So what it does is it, it creates this data binding between your server and your client side to where it listens to events happening and it, it talks to those events. Let's see the official terminology. It should talk more about it down here. So it'll broadcast and it'll request and it'll also reply to an event. And so it just creates this tight knit to an event to where if I type something into my keyboard, someone else who is also tied to that same broadcast, that same channel, would also get the same notification from me in real time. So as I type it, they'll see it. Socket.io is used in a lot of things. I use it now in collaboration tools where we can collaborate. Say two different people are wanting to build something together. They can get on there and type, and the other person can type, and it's just real time. And everybody sees exactly what's going on. And this tool is great. It can be used in a broad, many different usage. We're going to use it in a chat application. So we're going to break out our chat application, which was tied deeply in using WebSockets, which is not the same thing as Socket.io. It was using WebSockets and its own capabilities inside Meteor.js, inside of our monolithic app, to be able to create that real-time chat capabilities. So in this, we're going to delve into Socket.io further. We're going to build ourselves an Express.js server on the back end to use in the source for the node side of it. And we're going to create that. And then we're going to create our front end and use the Socket JavaScript client library to create ourselves a chat application that works in real time, works as a standalone application. But then we'll also be able to tie it right directly in as a module inside of our blog application, which we already created prior to this.